All right, hey guys, what's going on? Set Home Theater Dude, got a brand new episode for you today. Thank you guys so much. You guys have really been um, gravitating towards the Build Your Home Theater episodes, and I think that's kind of cool to share this journey with you guys. I get it, I mean, none of this stuff is done, done yet, but I mean, it, you, as you guys can see, we're, we're climbing up the, uh, the, the stairs. We're getting to that summit, so we're getting closer and closer, but now what we gotta do is we gotta finish these lights. So if you guys were paying attention in that painting video, this, there's this big stupid light that's up here. It's a light fixture. It wasn't plan. I wasn't planning on leaving it up there, so I already ordered um, a light fixture, you know, like a month ago, and now I'm gonna go ahead and install it. At the same time, uh, to use those lights, I'm gonna be using a dimmer. So I, I just have a, you know, a, a typical toggle on/off switch over here for a light switch. So I'm installing a Lutron Cassetta wireless dimmer. So instead of just being, you know, dimmable with the lights, I can actually control it with the smartphone or with like a Harmony type of um, remote or even, you know, just use Alexa or Google and different things like that. So I wanted to do some more type of smart home features. I mean, it's not really smart home, but I wanted to do some more of those like smart features with the lighting as well. Um, but you guys will start be seeing that very, very shortly. So I think that's it. Really appreciate you guys for watching. I'm gonna go ahead and get into it right after the intro. Well, all right guys, looks like part one is done. Uh, the simple thing to do is to go ahead and plop this one off of the ceiling. Obviously there's only three things in there. You have a uh, hot wire, a neutral, and then your copper. Well, I guess your ground. Same thing you'll see over here. So this is the back of the unit. So it looks like we have some very similar stuff. We have a white wire, black wire, and then we have our copper. So basically all you do is um, include it in the kit. They have some more of these uh, twisties on there. So let's go ahead and twist those on to each one of these connections and you should be good. That's all you gotta do. But in the meantime, I'm gonna show you guys this part right here. So this whole assembly comes with this thing in it. So I kind of didn't read the instructions and was just trying to mess with it. I was trying to take this big top bolt off. It doesn't come off. So there's a little black stud down here, a little black ball. Just twist the black ball off and pull this thing out. So now what you do with this thing, you put this one aside for a minute. So now what you do with this thing is the included hardware that came with your, your old one, or even just use the stuff that came with the new one, you're going to use the same holes, right? So you're gonna go right into there. This is called the J bracket. And then you're just gonna screw that in right there. And then vis-a-vis -vis the you know, fixture, we'll just screw right on top of this. You cinch it down with that black ball, you're done. But before you do that, obviously you gotta connect the stuff. So I'm pretty sure that this thing is big enough to co cover that, that paint that we didn't cover, you know, whenever we did it initially because we painted around this thing. But uh, this whole place is temporary. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm not gonna stay here forever. So um, this thing is going back up there and obviously we're gonna repaint whenever we leave. So yeah, let's, uh, let's go ahead and finish this thing off and I'll update you guys as I do it. And all right guys, so it is legitimately that easy. It's, uh, you might sweat like I did, but uh, yeah, this thing's ready to go. And these are the lights I'm using. These are like Edison type bulbs. 
Um, I wanted to go ahead and give it that type of industrial look for these and don't think that this thing is just gonna be hanging like you, whoa, like you see it in the, the picture on, uh, cause I got this thing from Amazon. Obviously you can get them anywhere. You can get it from Etsy. You can get them from any of the places that sell <laughs> these type of fixtures. This is like a, a pendant type of spider, spider pendant type of fixture. And this is the 18 uh, bulb version. So um, I wanted to order this and I wanted to spread these out. Obviously this is in line with the projector, so that's not gonna work, right? So my idea is, is that I'm going to spread these things out, like right here, so that projector is gonna have clear line of sight in between it and the screen, right? And then these are gonna be on pipes left and right. So again, fitting with that industrial vibe that I'm going for, I opted for Brooklyn pipe. Obviously you can go to Home Depot or Lowe's and get some of the, the threaded pipe and stuff like that. But, uh, and <laughs> you can even use these with furniture. You can use them as pull-up bars, whatever you wanna do. But uh, I'm basically using them to hold the lights. So these are gonna be pulled out. These are gonna be wrapped around the pipe, right? Then it's gonna be hanging. So that's the whole idea behind it. Obviously it looks stupid right now, but in a second it's gonna make sense. So let's go ahead and finish this thing up. All right guys, so I'm gonna be installing a couple of things today. Oh crap. So let's just go ahead and show you that real quick. So this is the kit, right? The Cassetta Wireless. So now you can get the dimmer without, you know, the hub and the Pico remote and stuff like that, but you won't be able to control it with your smartphone. So that's the main reason why I went with this one because I knew I was gonna be trying to do some of those wireless type of things. So that's the main reason for that. Additionally, we have this little plate here, same size, but it's a different shape because obviously it just had the little slits here from before. So that means I have to switch out to one of these. It's gonna fit in there. And also this is gonna fit in there. Should look nice and normal. So I'm gonna go ahead and tackle this one. This is the actual light that controls, this is the switch that controls the light. So that's where the dimmer is gonna be going. And uh, this one is, there used to be a fan in here. So basically this one is going to be boop right there. It, it legitimately does nothing. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put that one in there. You know, just because obviously I couldn't leave that in there with this in there, it's just gonna look really stupid. So I'm gonna go ahead and replace this one. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do it in just a second. All right guys, so back at it again. Um, as I'm sure you're well aware of, whenever I was showing you what I was gonna do in this space, I was waving around the wrong switch. So I had to go back to Home Depot and grab a new one. That was a uh, three-way switch. So if you have two lights, right? You have this switch and that switch over there and they control one light, or like the up, the, the up part of the, of the stairs and the bottom part of the stairs, one will be on and the other one will be off, right? So that's a three-way switch. This is a standard two-way switch and I had the wrong color. So that one was gray, this one's white. It's gonna fit very, very nicely into this one. So it's not gonna be multicolored, which would have been really weird looking. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and plop this one in there. Um, as you'll see, there's a couple different ways to wire these things. So obviously here is gonna be your switch, right? So you have uh, one version up here, one version down there, and then you can plug them in the back. So if you just plug them in there, it'll lock in so you can't pull it out. So that's one way of doing it, or you can basically just screw it into these little terminals. You get your wire, you make a hook, and you screw it in there, so that way it's, it's not gonna come free and it's really, really protected there. 
they opted not to do that one. So with this one, I'm gonna go ahead and just cut these, take that thing off of there. And then whenever I have to reinstall this stuff, I'll just reuse these things right here. So that's an option for you as well. Or you can just go to store and get a new set, whatever, and then just use the back, same thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a quick time lapse of putting this one in, and then we'll go ahead and finish this thing out. All right guys, so that's it. So that's basically how you do, you install the Lutron. This stuff is not rocket science. Just make sure you turn off the power so that you're not riding the lightning. <laughs> Whenever you do this stuff, it shouldn't be that scary. So, I mean, you'll probably just do it once or twice and be fine with it for the rest of your life. But yeah, this stuff is, is pretty easy. So this is a really simple um, solution right here. And I think that this is gonna help out with my smart features in my theater for the lighting. So that thing's done. All I gotta do now is go downstairs, turn back on the circuit breaker, and then we're ready to go. But I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the finished product whenever it's all set and mounted, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and check this thing out, guys. This is the finished product. This is the lighting setup that we're going with. I think it turned out a little better than what I thought. Um, this is what I was going for, this kind of like V taper. So that's basically the, the whole idea was what I was going for. So these are uh, suspended by Brooklyn pipes over here. This is directly into a stud. This one is not. So what I did is I over braced with, uh, with um, toggles over there. So hopefully this thing's not coming down, but this one's directly into a stud. Obviously what I could have done is bought the right size uh, pipe or you know pipes that way you know I could have definitely gone into two studs I'm not done with that I'll probably do that later on but just for the purpose of this video that's basically what I did for this so these are Edison bulbs and this is a pendant light system there are 18 bulbs on there they don't come with any of these lights whenever you buy them so you got to buy these so you can put any type of bulbs you want on there I, I chose Edison bulbs they're more tungsten this is kind of like a corkscrew look and then this one's called uh, the squirrel cage so check that out. Gives it kind of a cool little, uh, little lighting experience. And that's basically what I was going for. I was going for something a little more industrial looking, you know, something that's a little, not necessarily done very often. But let's go ahead and back up for the entire system and show you guys the entire room. So uh, I'm not done with this space. Obviously it's still dirty. I gotta, you know, get all this stuff out of here and then make sure that it's all wired up and, you know, the speakers are placed in the right spots. But this is basically what we're looking at. I mean, I think it turned out really well. It kind of uh, separates that area in the middle so that the projector itself can shine directly on the screen and not necessarily be interfered with. 
So that was basically the whole idea behind this one. This room's been coming together. It's still, you know, a mess. Uh, I, I don't get to do this stuff every single day like I wish I would have or I wish I could. Um, I obviously have my own responsibilities. So um, I, I, I basically get to this thing whenever possible. So I know it's been some time since the last video. But that's basically where we're at. So I know that you guys saw <laughs> the time lapses and you probably saw like me wearing, you know, four or five different shirts. It, it legitimately takes time to get this stuff done. Let's go ahead and show you this. Obviously this side of the wall is gonna be um, drywalled and finished off, but just for the time being, let's go ahead and show you guys this wireless Cassetta um, switch. So this is a Lutron switch. It's gonna initially come with a one plate, a one gang plate. So I bought this one additionally, and this light, this switch legitimately does absolutely nothing. Like this thing is worthless. So um, over here is the actual Lutron switch itself. And uh, this thing's really, really cool. Um, I didn't necessarily want to do a full on, like absolutely 100% set it up Lutron video. If you guys want one of those, I can probably explain it pretty, pretty well, but the instructions do a great job of that. So, I mean, legitimately, you can just look at the instructions and be fine. But this is the switch right here. This is off, this is on. So full off, full on, and this is in between. So this kind of helps you dial it in there. So this, let's go ahead and dial these things down to the lowest dimness. Dimness? <laughs> so let's go ahead and check that out. So the little corkscrew gives you that type of effect. This uh, rat ca or squirrel cage gives you this type of effect. And that's basically what you're working with. So um, this thing works a lot better than what I thought it would. So let's go ahead and show you guys this. So we're gonna go ahead and pump them on to full brightness. And then that's it. And it's nice, warm, inviting. It kind of gives a cool little vibe in there. So that's basically what that is, uh, is at full brightness. Let's go ahead and shut it all the way down. So this is gonna be turning it off, right? It goes through like a shutdown process. So that's really cool. So you can control these with your smartphone. You can control these with your um, uh, Harmony remote. You can control them with uh, Google, Siri, or Alexa. All those different things can, can can control these lights pretty well. So besides that, the room's coming together, guys. Obviously, you know, I, I wish I would have made more progress by now, but this stuff just takes time. In the last week, I've been really, really busy and inundated with work itself. So um, next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a center channel uh, stand over here. So that's gonna, it's obviously the center channel isn't gonna sit on that box. That would just look goofy put the speakers in the right place, wire everything up, and just show you guys the little ins and outs in the meantime, other things that I've done that you guys necessarily haven't seen on camera. Projectors in there in its final resting place. Um, we're not gonna be moving this thing ever again. Uh, we've legitimately taken it down like uh, five times and moved it. So this thing is where it needs to be, and uh, that's basically where that's gonna go. The Paladin DCR lens is on there. That's gonna help increase the brightness for the um, projector itself because you're not utilizing your full resolution. So see, if you buy a 4K projector and you're using 2.35, you're not getting 4K. So this helps you, you know, tap all the untapped potential of your actual projector itself. So that's the reason why I wanted to go with a uh, palette and DCR lens. Got that one up and running. A um, Couple of things over here. We did these little uh, wall plates, black wall plate here. We have another black wall plate over here. Um, obviously, I'm not going to switch out the receptacle. Um, I know it's going to bother some of you guys online. That's that's cool. You guys don't live here, so uh, <laughs> deal with it. Another thing I did is I replaced these AC grates with me metallic black ones. So obviously, AC grates. Um, if, if you guys have been paying attention to the channel for a while, you know at my last house, I had a huge problem with the AC grates whenever the base started going. So that was the main reason why I wanted to go ahead and switch these. These are metallic. They're a lot better. Um, and they're black, so it kind of matches everything else in the, the grand scheme of things. But that's basically where we're at, guys. I mean, uh, again, I wish there was more progress, but that's basically where we're at for today. Uh, make sure you like, share, subscribe, and hit that notifications bell. I got a lot more coming for you guys. So really appreciate you guys for watching. Go ahead and stick close to the channel, and we'll go ahead and uh, finish off this Batcave series. But really appreciate you guys for watching. Catch you next time.